Agenda item number 9, REZ 2013-13. Staff, if you will please present this request. Yes, sir. Thank you. Um, subject property in this request ultimately is aimed at trying to take advantage of some of the family ties exemptions that we do have in our ordinance for the addition of one residence on the property right now. With that, they're asking the subject property to go back to an agricultural zoning, or EA, um, and since we had the Planning Commission work session, I did have uh, the opportunity to speak with the applicant. And I think as, as far as updates on this case, um, I do anticipate some modifications to the zoning map um, before it goes to the county commissioners. Uh, one of which is there's a very small parcel at the <coughs> southeastern corner of the subject property on your screen uh, right here. And I believe that the boundary of the property should actually reflect this piece. Um, we just believe the zoning map is not reflecting that. We also, with the CH, the applicant has indicated they want to leave this strip of CH along I-75, so we'd like to make the map reflect that that CH zoning is not a part of the request, which we've done in writing. We just want the zoning map to reflect that. Uh, and then finally, this property we did verify, this R10 strip in the middle of the property is actually owned by an entity associated with Georgia Power. It's not just an easement, it's actually owned by them. So that won't be a part of this request. This will just remain um, R10 under their ownership. So those three updates we anticipate happening to the zoning maps just to be sure we're very clear about which properties are being rezoned in this case. Otherwise you have the recommendation before you and we do believe it's ready for your consideration tonight. Alright, is there any questions for the uh, staff from the commissioners? Mr. Wills? Yes, sir. We think those totals reflect the... Um, Excluding the... Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And there might be um, the bottom, the southern portion is included. <coughs> I don't know if we subtracted out the acreage from the CH. Okay. So that CH acreage might need to be dropped out of that total. Okay. One more thing. I'm looking at the zoning map now running along the Interstate 7. Mm -hmm. Is that the correct CH? Yes. Okay. And we've We've, um, in the advertisement, I don't believe we mentioned the CH on purpose, and in our staff report, we kind of indicated that CH would remain. So we tried to make sure we we clarified that in the ad and in, in our staff reports. Okay, so looking at the northern end of it, mm -hmm. it, it looks like it stops at one there's a point. It does. Is it, it is, that's what we're supposed to. Yes, sir. We believe there was a case, I think it was from 1994, sir, where they actually got that CH okay. um, for the subject property. Alright. Any other questions for the staff? There being none, is there anyone in the audience that would like to speak in favor of this request? I would. Alright, please approach the podium and give us your name and address. My name is Doug Lester. Um, I live at 522 Mary Hart, Brooklyn, in Lake Park. This is a cattle farm, and it was one since 1963. At least, well, there, actually there's four farms there that we put together. Um, and the issue of, all I came to do was to build a house on the farm. And to do that, I wanted to separate the building lot for the house so the whole farm wasn't subject to the, the mortgage. That seems like that would be a simple thing to do. However, you run into the gauntlet of uh, the Lowndes County Zoning Ordinances and you get thrown into a machine. I came to this to Jason, who I've become very friendly with and admire him. Um, but he's, I'm from a different planet. Um, This change was made in 06, I believe, under the cover of darkness because we were never notified in writing or a telephone call or a sign that was put up. It just, it got changed and we were really unaware of it for, for I don't know, maybe four years or five years. 
And so when I came to talk to Jason and I told him what I wanted to do, he said, well, we got a way we can do that, handle that for you. We family ties. And I was almost out the door before he realized that it was his own wrong. And so we came back in, and the reason it was on wrong is because someone, um, I jokingly like to say that Jason single-handedly did it, but he's too modest to, uh, to accept that. But it was changed, and had it not been changed, I would have been able to walk out and do it. Now, I talked to Carmella, and I said, now, what is the issue with, with me operating a cattle ranch um, in an R1 zone? Because personally, I don't really care what it's zoned until we take these zoning rules and come and tell me what I can and can't do. So she says that if I stopped ranching or farming for a period of one year, I wouldn't be allowed to do it anymore. Well, um, there were thousands of ranchers in Texas and Oklahoma two years ago that sold off all their herds because of drought, and they haven't been able to get back into the cattle business. And many of you probably know some people who are in and out of the cattle business. They'll generally sell out in a high market. We don't, but They'll sell out, and they may stay out for several years. But it's just a situation where the county, or Jason has indicated to me, that this practice may not be allowed to continue uh, in the future. And, you know, I think back to Thomas Jefferson's Virginia Declaration of Independence. The three unalienable rights, life, liberty, and property, which Madison later cleaned up and put the pursuit of happiness, which was the same meaning to those people. They came here, they couldn't own property, they were, you know, they had to pay tribute to the lords and the kings and the noblemen. You know, to come in and disrupt um, our, our farm, which is really a separate thing from me doing the house. I mean, I told my wife, I said, you know, if it's a hairy deal, we'll forget the house. But it just seemed like it was, um, it was wrong the way it was done. I mean, had they come to me in no six and said, what do you want to do? Mm -hmm. You know, this is what we think. I, you know, for my planet, the property owner should be the one that decides. I didn't realize that, you know, your zoning could be changed without your notice. But apparently it can't. Now, I don't think that's the way we're going to do it anymore. Um, I think now, you know, when we do it, we're going to notify, right, Jason? Is that good? Okay. But, uh, you know, that's really the issue here. And it's really two issues. Um, you know, the house was one thing, but, but then finding out that, you know, the zoning change, we just want it put back to what it was to agree with what we're doing. And I hope I said that nice. My mother told me it's not what you say, but it's how you say it. So y'all imagine I have a big smile. So I guess I'm through unless someone has any kind of question. Right. Are there any questions for the speaker from the staff? I got one. When, uh, how long have you owned the Um, Well, 63, the section that's got the big brown circle in it. Um, in fact, my great-grandfather was born on that property. Um, he was a, his parents were sharecroppers. Um, later on, one of his brothers actually owned it. And that's who dad bought it from, from his widow. Um, and 
mean, this is our 51st year of running capital there. And of course, we added another one in 97, another one in 99, and the last one in 2000, which have been the top. So come up with parcels of land. Parcels of land. Okay. That's the best word. And, uh, and you've been raising capital in 51 years. Since 63. I was five years old. Hope to, to do it for 50 more. You know, it's, a, it's a clean operation. We're not uh, our neighbors to the north of us, the church there. Uh, they seem to, to enjoy the, the green winter pastures and the cattle. They've mentioned that to me before. Because they, cattle have always been there, I guess, probably because uh, there was cattle there before, uh, before 63. Are there any other questions for, from the um, I, I noticed they had recommended two options, the RA and, and the EA, if you wanted Well, to. RA um, allows agriculture with a special provision. Um, like I said, I don't care what it's zoned as long as someone doesn't come down there and say you know, you're violating zoning. And of course it's interesting to me that the Georgia Tower right away would be an R10, but that's a different issue. It's no railroad bed. I just wondered if you had a, I don't know, a preference one over the other and what, what well, reasoning was. The reasoning is, is that under, of course, you know, I go, I only understand the old AU zone. Um, and that's the closest to EA, which will allow me to continue to have livestock and, and uh, grow pasture. And if I want to get out there and uh, plant something, I can under RA, then I'm restricted um, somewhat. Do you agree with that? So I think probably EA is going to be my best choice. And I was just looking at the comparisons and I just didn't see a whole lot of difference. I didn't, I didn't to well, look under, the, or, look under the near the top where it says agricultural use and there's an S there under R.A. Okay. Permissible subject to supplemental standards. So you don't you didn't want Well, is this permit do I have to get permission? Is the you know, that's what it sounds like to me. I understand certainly um, you know this is what we were this is what it was, and I know that on paper, on that, in Jason's defense, you know, that looks like a home run, as long as we're in a building under fluorescent lighting with a, with a, with a map, but when you get on the ground down there, it, uh, things appear different. And I don't know if anybody ever even inquired as to what, now I know a lot of the farms there, you know, have been, are vacant. Me and then Jim Carroll is on the on the other end are probably the only two that I know of that are still operating. But all right, um, we're reaching our time limit on on um, on the case. Is there any other questions? Last question. So you're looking for an E8? I'm looking. Yeah, I want it to go back as to what it was before. Okay, here we go. Is there anyone else in the audience that would like to add anything different um, in favor of this request? There being none, is there anyone in the audience that would like to speak in opposition to this request? There being none, I will not close the public participation portion of this request. The discussion is now open amongst the commissioners. I have a question for Jason. Um, what's a special 
The supplemental standards, I think, for his particular agricultural use are, I think they're buffering and some setback differences. They're a little bit greater in RA than there are in EP. RA was made to be in closer proximity to residential, so there's some additional restrictions that, that are there that are not present in EA. And also, for if um, the planning PRC voted in the EA and RA, what was your reason? Um, planning standpoint, my main reason was I just thought RA was a better fit for this area with the existing residential growth and primarily the water sewer investment along white water were my primary grounds to try to use RA instead of EA. Um, the rest of TRC did not, um, they understood the argument, they just did not feel strongly as I did that. So that's why they're split them. All right, is there any other discussion? I have a question. Did you mention the church? Mm -hmm. Yes, ma'am. My help is that the church. Oh. That's uh, right here, ma'am. There's a church on the very northern portion of the farm. And not on their property, but adjacent, adjacent to it. And it's a church, then they have a field that they have a home. So we're just talking about the just the, the area where the, the fence and the field is, and the resident is okay with the rezoning. Oh, they, they have a home. I think that that's probably Mr. Doug's mother and father's home. And there might be more than one residence on the property. You're talking about the first little jut out, right up, um, right up there, right up there, near the top, the fender road, Here? right there. Okay. No, that actually, uh, that's Bonnie and, uh, I mean, Connie and Bo Montgomery's place. They actually lived in an older house, and the previous owner gave them that lot. But uh, they lived on it when it was AU for a long time. So we don't have, we didn't have to get permission from the residents? We, we got permission from the, these parcels are under a Lester family trust, and so we just grouped all those together. We, our intention was not to touch any of the property that wasn't in the Lester family farm. Okay. Yeah, that's not our house. <laughs> all right. Well, um, I, think, I, have to, I say, I think your mother should be proud. You did well. Um, I cannot see taking someone's property and changing the zoning with it. Uh, I don't know what happened years ago. Evidently no one does. But if something were to happen, uh, an unfortunate incident, and he were not to have cows on it for years, so he couldn't put them back on there. And uh, this is the man's livelihood. Uh, so I just, I, I think that we, we need to look at it in that respect. Uh, Jason's argument about the utilities along Whitewater Road are fine. And the future developments uh, on the other side of Whitewater will be fine. And sooner or later, uh, this property may be sold and divided, but at that time they could come in and get the proper zoning for it, for what they're wanting to use it for. But, uh, and, and so, okay. That's, that's my statement on the issue, but I don't think we need to, uh, to mess with something that if it ain't broke, don't fix it. And I feel that this is not broke. It should be left to, uh, it should be left to the cows very easily. I'm not going to make a motion this time, Phil. <laughs> All right, I will now entertain a motion <laughs> on this request. I do learn. I recommend we change the zoning of this property to GA and allow the uh, the family to continue with their cattle business and uh, with no limitations on the development. 
We have a motion by Mr. Hall and a second by Mr. Willis. <clears throat> Is there any discussion on this motion? There being no discussion, all in favor please indicate by raising your right hand. All opposed, have the same right. Okay, the motion passes. <coughs>